What is going on everyone? This is Sonic Mix and today I am here to give my review for WWE Raw September 26, 2016. I hope you guys had a present Monday night or all Monday I should say. And with this Raw, at least in my opinion, this was passable for being enjoyable, I would have to say. Uh, the night kicked off, surprisingly, uh, with a match. It was Roman Reigns versus Rusev for the United States Championship, a rematch from last night's Clash of the Champions. I thought this match was actually on par with last night's Clash of the Champions, only with the exception of the ending, which was a double countout. So obviously this, this rivalry is going to continue on. Uh, hopefully at Hell in a Cell, which I'm, I'm assuming this is going to be at Hell in a Cell where they're going to have their rematch. That will be the blow-off match, and we can move on to another feud with Roman against whomever. Like I said, this match was basically a repeat of... Clash of the Champions, nothing really fancy. Slow for mostly all of the match. Uh, double count now was kind of stupid, but I guess at the same time it makes sense for the rivalry to continue onward. I give this a 2.5 out of 5. Oh, and also, uh, someone in the annotations on this video, you could check out my Clash of the Champions review. Uh, just as a Fair warning, uh, two things really quick about that review. Uh, one, I was there live, and I kind of forgot the order of the match. And then secondly, I was actually tired because, once again, I was in Indianapolis, drove the three-hour drive back. I was a little bit tired, so I'm kind of like, eh, with some of the memories because, once again, I was tired. But check it out anyway. I might re-watch Clash of the Champions. I don't know, but we'll see about it. Up next, there was a Sheamus, Foley, and Cesaro promo with the draw or no contest finish of their match at Clash of the Champions. Foley came out. Sheamus basically said that he thinks he deserves to be the winner. Cesaro said the same thing, and then Foley said, you know what? I'm going to give both of you guys a chance, and I'm going to give both of you guys a chance together as the tag team champions, and this may work out, although I think Cesaro should be better as singles, but who knows? If, if this works out, which I hope it does, should, more so for Sheamus's part, he could be something interesting again, because... Sheamus is good, it's just that there's really no interest in Sheamus at the moment. So I think comparing Sheamus with Cesaro and them being like this dominant tag team in a way, it could benefit for the both of them. So I'm really pulling for both Sheamus and Cesaro that this will work out. Uh, right after the promo was over, uh, then we had the New Day versus Gallows and Anderson for the Tag Team Championship, a rematch of Clash of the Champions. Same ordeal, I think this match was on par with their last night's match. Uh, basically, the concept was that uh, uh, Xavier interfered, and then that's how they got the rematch. Uh, Kofi Kingston actually got a good cut, because he was kind of bleeding a crimson mask and but that crimson mask didn't stop them from getting the victory which they did they pinned Gal uh, was it Anderson they pinned Anderson for the win and they will move on to 401 and so forth and actually I was actually calculating something um, by the time Hell in a Cell comes which is a raw exclusive I believe it would be the New Day's 434 day reign as champion. Expect some CM Punk chants. Most definitely CM Punk chants. But the match was fine. Like I said, it was kind of on par with their last night's match. I would give it a two and three quarters out of five. It was enjoyable. Up next 
was Bailey against Anna Fields or a jobber. Uh, I found it a little weird that Bailey's facing a jobber, but all right. Kind of your typical big star versus jobber match. I'm not really going to get into it. Uh, they actually did kind of had a somewhat of a match, but like I said, this was like three, four minutes long. I'm not going to give it a rating because once again, it's a jobber match, so who kind of cares? Uh, up next, which, well, actually before this Cruiserweight Tag Team match, there was a backstage with Stephanie and, well, actually, was this? No, it was Mick Foley with Sheamus and Cesaro. And Foley was basically saying, like, yeah, you two guys hate each other, but I feel like you guys can make this work. You guys can work together. So I think they're really trying to build Cesaro and Sheamus as, like, this believable hates each other type team that can eventually like each other in the end. Like I said, I hope in a way this works because Sheamus really needs that interest again. Now let's move on. Uh, we had a tag team cruiserweight bout. We had Cedric Alexander and Witch Swan versus Lindsay Dorado and Drew Gulak. I thought this was a okay to find tag team match. It went eight minutes long, and of course, uh, two minutes in the match, there's a, a commercial break, and then four minutes after that break, they bounce for like another two minutes, and then I believe with Swan hit him with the Swan kick. Uh, there were some good, uh, good spots. Uh, Lindsay Dorado did a moonsault from the turnbuckle to the outside. That was a cool spot. The Rich Swan super kick to Gulak looked very nasty, very nasty kick. And Rich Swan and Cedric Alexander picked up the win. I can't give this a three. I have to give it a 2.75. Like I said, I thought the commercial, I know sometimes the commercials do, in a way, hurt, unless it's like really super good afterwards. If the match was maybe like an extra four minutes long after that commercial, maybe it would have benefited a little bit more. But we got what we got. Like I said, it was enjoyable for what it was worth. I give it a 2.75 out of 5. Uh, then we had a backstage segment with Mick Foley and Stephanie McMahon. And Stephanie McMahon showing her authority-like figure, telling Mick Foley that you are supposed to be the GM. You're supposed to be the GM, not be this medical assistance guy. Yeah, I understand you care, but you're supposed to be the GM. And who do you think you are? I actually thought this was more so the interesting turning point because I think now we're kind of starting to see Stephanie slowly but surely about to turn on Mick and then Triple H will eventually will be the Raw GM if that's where they're going with this. But it's interesting enough, I'll say. Uh, then we had Sheamus and Cesaro against two jobbers. Don't even know their names. Once again, jobber match. Uh, I did like some of the material with Sheamus and Cesaro, how Sheamus didn't want to get tagged in, and then while Sheamus was distracted, Cesaro slapped him on the back, and Sheamus got the uh, the pinfall or the, uh, the tag in. I like what they did so far. And hopefully, like I said, I'm hoping that this will lead to something and lead nowhere. But N.A., dud, not going to give a rating. Once again, it's a jobber match. Up next, we had a Charlotte and Sasha Banks promo. I thought this was a really good promo. I thought Charlotte did very well on the mic, coming off as this big-time heel woman's champion, and how that she claims that she is the face of the women's division. Thank God they dropped Divas, because they're not Divas anymore. They're women. So, women's wrestling, not Divas wrestling. As I drop my mouse. Sorry. 
Sasha Banks came out. She did her thing. I thought Sasha Banks did really good in her promo. And they basically announced for next week's match will be Charlotte versus Sasha Banks in Los Angeles for the Women's Championship. So that should be an interesting match. Although I don't think it's not going to have a decisive win. But uh, I could be shocked. It could. Uh, great, pro uh, Good promo. I thought it was really good. Up next, we had the debut of Raw uh, on Raw Rise. TJ Perkins against Tony Meeks. I thought this was a solid, good match. I love some of the material from Tony Meeks. Very, very athletic wrestler. Definitely. Definitely should be looked at most definitely. Uh, TJ Perkins did his thing. This was just a good, solid wrestling match. Even with the commercial in between there. After commercial, I think that they were given like an extra five minutes, it felt. And those five minutes actually benefited for these two. I give it a three on the dot. I think this match was good for what it was worth. And then we had a promo with uh, the highlight reel with Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens. I thought the highlight reel was good. Seth Rollins came out. He tried to intervene. Mick Foley and a bunch of security guys stopped him. He was at score in the back. Out comes Enzo and Kaz. They cut their deal. And then we get to the match, the main event. Jericho and Owens versus Enzo and Kaz. Solid match. Thought it was really good. Love the mimic of Kevin Owens doing the Enzo Moe dance, whatever it was called. Good stuff here. Nothing out of this world amazing, but it was good. It was good enough for what it was worth. Kevin Owens picks up the win. He pins Enzo Amore for the pinfall victory. And it just suddenly ends just like that. Like they were in no hurry to end the show for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, I give it a three and a quarter. Overall, like I said, I thought this was an enjoyable show. I really thought this was enjoyable. There was nothing. There was nothing stupid. Nothing dumb of this this show, which I liked. Uh, they kept it very simple, nothing nothing outrageous, and they kept it interesting. At least I felt they did. Overall, like I said, I think this show was passable enough to be at least be given a 7. I would give this Raw a 7 out of 10. I know some people may not agree, and I know some people may think I'm a little too generous, but... It was enjoyable enough. I would say there was not really a bad segment. But, like I said, some people may think I'm too generous, but would you rather would have the old day segment and then that Sasha Banks fake back injury extravaganza? You know the, you know what I'm going with. Overall, enjoyable show. It's passable to get a 7 out of 10. And... I think the cruiserweight division, I think, is the big help for Raw. I think it is. And if anything, the cruiserweight division needed to be on Raw just to kind of help with the three hours of Raw. And with that being said, this was my review of WWE Monday Night Raw. I hope you guys enjoy. As always, leave a like if you enjoyed the show. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Leave a comment. Share the video. And follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, you have a good night, and I will see you later.